Welcome to the Greater Phoenix Digital Library tutorial. As a patron of the Apache Junction Public Library, you can borrow ebooks, audiobooks, and more digital items from the Greater Phoenix Digital Library. This tutorial will focus on how to borrow ebooks. To access the Greater Phoenix Digital Library, you start on the Apache Junction Public Library homepage. It is accessed at www.ajpl.org. Once on the Apache Junction Public Library homepage, click on I Want To, then Digital Collections, and finally Greater Phoenix Digital Library. You'll be taken to the Greater Phoenix Digital Library homepage. Once on the Greater Phoenix Digital Library homepage, you can download the Libby app which you will need to be able to access your eBooks. If you don't already have it, click on the appropriate app store for your device to download it. We recommend using the Libby app if you are using an iOS or Android device to read and listen to eBooks. You can also download the OverDrive app from the Greater Phoenix Digital Library. It also allows you to read and browse for eBooks but it is primarily used on desktop and laptop computers. Once the Libby or OverDrive app is downloaded, you will use the Greater Phoenix Digital Library homepage to access the collection of eBooks. If you know what you're looking for, click the magnifying glass search icon in the top banner and type in your search item. This could be a title, a subject, or just an idea or topic. Once keyed in, hit enter on your keyboard. The site will retrieve objects matching your search. For instance, if you search for dogs, you will go to a page similar to this one. On the top of the column on the far left, you will see the total number of items that were found matching your search. In this case, there were 3,218 matches found for the dog search. Also along the far left side of the images, you will find a number of choices to further refine your search results. You can reduce the number of matches by clicking on Availability, which will show only those items currently available to borrow. If you add in audiobooks, you will only see the available audiobooks. Or if you add in ebooks, you will only see available ebooks. Additional filters include videos, release date, subject, or genre type. Subject also allows you to select mysteries, fiction, juvenile fiction, and so on. By using the filters, you should be able to narrow down the choices and find an ebook you want. Once you find the title you want, click on its image and you will get a screen similar to this. On this screen, you can choose to read a sample of the book or just go ahead and borrow it. You can also choose to add the title to a wish list so you can borrow it at a later date. There is a lot of information on this page. Among other things, you can click on description and read a description of the ebook. You can also see how many stars the book has been rated by others who have read it. And you can see how many copies of the book are available. Some books require you to make a choice. You have to decide what format you want to borrow the book in, EPUB format or Kindle format. Some books may be available in only one format. For your, your information, the Libby app or Adobe Digital Editions app is required for books available in the EPUB format. This tutorial has already told you how to get the Libby app. If you want the Adobe app, you can get it from your app store, but you shouldn't need it to continue. If you have chosen the Kindle format, you will need an Amazon.com account and password to borrow the ebook. If you have a Kindle, you should already have an Amazon account. Once you click borrow from the selected book page, you will be asked to sign in if you have not already done so. Choose the Apache Junction Public Library 
and then enter your library card number and PIN. Your PIN is usually the last four digits of your phone number. Once signed in, you are taken to the borrow page. You are shown an image of the item you are going to borrow and you are shown how long you can borrow it for. Click the borrow button to proceed. You are now taken to a page where it shows you have successfully borrowed the book and tells you when it must be returned. It also tells you how many more books you can borrow. If the book is in the EPUB format, you will have to make a choice. You can choose to immediately read the ebook right from your browser or your device, or you can choose to download it to read later. Make your decision. If the book is in the Kindle format, you will have one additional option. Read now with Kindle. When the Read Now with Kindle button is selected, you'll be taken to an Amazon sign-in page. You will need your Amazon sign-in and password to continue. Enter the information and click on sign-in. If you don't have an Amazon account, you are given the option to create one. Once you have signed in to Amazon, you will be taken to a page that displays the book you are wanting to borrow for your Kindle. Make sure you have selected the correct device to send the ebook to and then click on Get Library Book. The ebook will be accessible in your Kindle library. It doesn't matter what form format you are using. Your book should be downloaded to your device and be ready for you to read. Congratulations, you have downloaded an ebook from the Greater Phoenix Digital Library. Enjoy your book.